Hey folks, this is Ben with Ben's Campers. Uh, this morning we have the 69 Banner uh, trailer in the shop and we're about to get started with some demo, uh, removing the rear floor section that's rotten and some wall uh, work. And I uh, just got her leveled up here and we're about to get started. So uh, this is the banner that is featured in my other uh, earlier video. I got this trailer for free. I sold it at a low price to a customer who is paying for some work done. Uh, the ultimate goal of this trailer, it's going to be an off-grid, uh, not a fully self-contained tiny house, but uh, it just won't have a shower, but we're going to have a plumbing system and we'll go through all that in this video. So stay tuned. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe and let's get started with this one. So we've been at it for a couple hours now, just coming on to two hours. I uh, removed the rear bed and we've cut open, removed the bunk and cut open the walls to expose the damage and uh, opened up into the glove compartment. So now we're going to start getting into the floor here and uh, keep on keeping on. Okay, folks, so we got most of the cancer cut out. Got the bed removed and the floor cut out there. I uh, still have to get around the edges there underneath the wall. Uh, we're going to jack up the walls, the body of the trailer a little bit, just like we did with that Layton, to uh, get that perimeter uh, rebuilt properly. So let's keep going. All right, guys, so quick update on the 69 banner here. We have Dad helping out big time today. Just kidding, he's not helping at all. So we got the perimeter removed around here and uh, cleaned up and you can see this is the proper way to redo a floor. You gotta go underneath of those walls. So we have a brace here, which is just a couple two by fours screwed in and then uh, perpendicular to that are the, uh, along the walls there, that one is the base of what was the bed. And this one I put on a two by four, so we screwed it into the studs. That way, with the jack, a bottle jack, we lift up the whole rear of the trailer, and that takes that weight off of that floor that comes underneath the wall. So, uh, this was definitely the hardest part of this job, was cutting all that nasty crap out of there, out of every nook and cranny down there in the corners by the wheel wells is really tough. So, glad we got that. We're going to take some measurements for framing and get the uh, rebuild process started. Okay, folks, so we got a nice grid laid down, uh, framing for the new floor, and we got it nice and insulated, so everything is fitting real nice. So let's go ahead and get the plywood on it and bolt it down to the frame. Okay, guys, so we got the plywood laid, and it went down real nice, and the floor is done. So we've got a carriage bolted down to the frame in four places. Uh, there's two more I got to put in. I need a longer drill bit. We got uh, all the cans are cut out of there. And now we're just dehumidifying and going to rebuild uh, some of the wall framing here and around this window uh, tomorrow. Okay, guys, let's take a quick look at the banner and the progress. Uh, we're just about finished, I'd say 80%. And uh, this will be the last quick take before I reveal the finished product to you. So as you can see, we have the seams all back together. Uh, we have the J rail on up here, but down here, I need to go to the home improvement store and get some screws. And let's go inside. Got everything fastened in the right way. All right, so our overhead bunk area is completely rebuilt with new framing. And that wall's fastened together the way it should be. i uh, got to get some more screws to finish some things up and another board of insulation. Otherwise, uh, we are just about finished. So let's do the final reveal. Are you ready? Let's check it out. Okay guys, we're inside the 1969 banner and I want to show you the completed project. So, 
we rebuilt the entire rear end uh, of the trailer and that corner and the entire floor structure there. And uh, we've eliminated that couch that pulls out to a bed and just made this a fixed bed. So I moved the base of that couch forward here so you can still see the cabinet door. And now put a handle here and you can see this is on a piano hinge so we can lift it up and reveal a very large area for storage. And we got some plumbing that we're gonna be installing in here. No fresh tank, but uh, this will be ultimately an off-grid uh, setup that the customer is doing. So we've got the overhead rear bunk uh, framing all rebuilt all around the window, new framing, um, resealed all the J-rails and trimmed it out. Uh, the wood we used is just a quarter inch um, veneer board from Lowe's. It is not quarter inch birch. Uh, that is very expensive compared to this product, but we can stain it and we will stain it uh, to match. It won't exactly match. It won't have the same shine, but it'll be a great um, finish for the trailer. And this plug outlet here was uh, facing the glove compartment, but there is a shortage of plug outlets in the trailer uh, in 1969. Didn't have as much stuff to power up. So I went ahead and just switched that thing around. That way it's on this side and uh, this will be a very large bed. So it's bigger than a twin, uh, a little smaller than a full. Uh, so the customer will probably get a microfiber piece of foam cut, microfiber mattress made uh, especially for this. And I uh, have a very nice bed area, very sturdy, very well insulated, uh, no drafts, very nicely sealed up. Uh, this entire project took 19 billable shop hours, 19 billable shop, shop hours, and really 30 hours uh, total if you count, you know, looking around for parts, going into Lowe's, uh, racking your brain how you're going to put things together. So uh, Ben's Campers, uh, we do this work, and we are looking for some projects uh, for February and March. If you are interested, uh, or if you're looking to do something like this on your own, you can get a scope of what it truly takes. You really have to have a shop. So I appreciate you guys watching as always. Uh, God bless you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate that. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all, and have a great day.